Okay, you guys. Hi. Uh, welcome to Prophecy. My name is Piper. Thank you for watching my channel. This video is going to be for Scorpio for the month of April 2020. Um, I will use um, two cards from my Tarot of the Imagination um, after channeling a short message for you from Spirit of the month of April. Now, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you need a personal reading, you just scroll down to the description box below this video and those directions are there on how to purchase. Um, if you would like to view an extended read uh, for this video, that will be available in the description box below as well. It's going to be right under the first line, so just click on the link and it will take you to Vimeo. All right, so, Scorpio, I'm gonna channel a message for you, and then we'll talk about your tarot cards, okay? Uh, by the way, these three decks of cards, there's um, one oracle card for finance and work, one for love, and one for uh, spiritual guidance and meaning for the month of April. Those will be used in the extended read. I'll pull one card for each of those subjects, and uh, we'll also look at cards from the bottom of the deck. So, please join me for that. <sighs> Scorpio has more than a few errands to run this month of April. But now is the time, Scorpio, for even though you are busy from here to there, making arrangements, keeping things small and only necessary, you do have time on your hands. And you will be recognized for that time being well spent. There has been some give and take in a situation for you, Scorpio, uh, and it's time for you to jump in wholeheartedly. Some of you will write in April. The time that you spend doing other things will be set aside because you want to be as much a part of things as anyone around you. And it occurs to you that you might be very good at this. I do believe putting your nose to the grindstone is to your advantage in the month of April. Write the play you so desire to see on stage. Write the script. You know how things look when the script is right or when you see actors on a stage or people united by a written direction. It's a grand view of things played out on paper. And your style will be well known if you so decide to take advantage of your time in this manner.
Scorpio, you need only to say that you're busy on making things work well at home or that you are covering business deals at home. But in truth, you will put your efforts into writing about situations in which you would like to see played out on screen or stage. You need not say anything to anyone, only to yourself, Scorpio. The secrecy, which is such a part of your true nature, can be used well at this time. You've got the stuff. Just don't wait too long to start it. Wow. Okay. Scorpio, I don't know what that's all about. So some of you in April are being called to write. You're being called to write books, plays. I, I for the most part, think this is about script. I keep seeing the word script over and over again. And so if there's something that you always wanted to write or you've always felt that you wanted to write, I feel like you guys know that you would be good at it and that you already have a sense of They keep saying it to me. You know how things should be played out. And it's sometimes all about the translation of it. And so maybe some of you are translating manuscripts, but I feel like most of you are writing them or you're being urged to, Scorpio. I also feel like playing in the music, playing music in the background helps you. You've got, some of you Scorpios, and this isn't the first time I've heard this, have a kind of like a rock and roll heart. And you would love to incorporate this into your writing somehow. There's an edge to you, I feel. And so they're telling me it's about making it a priority. <laughs> it's about making it a priority, Scorpio. If you're if you're feeling like you're a little bit doubtful, um, I feel like the reason that you maybe would not be doing this already is that just that you feel that other jobs are more important and because this is more like a, it would be more like something you would do on the side or something out of enjoyment. Like, I don't want to use the word hobby, but um, it's about priorities for you for, for most, for most of the time. I feel like most of you Scorpios, again, I keep hearing the word secrecy and you will do this, um, whatever writing this is, you will do it late at night because you feel like that's your time. That's your creative time when the lights are really low and the music is on. Yeah. And in fact, I'm going to say very definitely the music is super important um, because I feel like it gives you or it, it, it takes your mind to a place where <laughs> they're using words like divine and angelic creativity. So you may, may very well just feel super connected when you have music playing in the background and it frees you somewhat. Maybe to, you know, um, listen to your intuition or even for some of you, hear voices from the other side. Some of you Scorpios could very well be getting tips from the divine. 
on what to write and how to write it. And the reason why you're feeling this nudge in April is because that's why, because you, some of you may be being visited by, um, divine beings that are attracted to you for that very reason. This person can hear us and this person's going to write our manuscript. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to choose a couple cards for you. Here we go. Two cards for Scorpio, please, in April. Yeah. So I'm going to say this right now before I take this card that's balanced on my hand. Some of you have a very, very, I'm going to use the word, I already used the word, maybe edge. And so um, I think you may, some of you have like a flair for the macabre or a little bit of oracle in you, or there's something that gives you an edge, like, like your character has like paranoid delusions or some of that, you know, there's definitely something a little bit macabre about the whole thing, or that's what you're writing, the edge that you're writing is going to have interesting all right first card here we go <laughs> okay the six of cups yep uh if that isn't macabre i don't know what it is but the six of cups in this deck it's about agony uh it's about but i mean uh, when i say agony i don't necessarily mean physical pain Ooh, yeah. Okay. So uh, they're saying the word, they're using the word pull. So I'm using this deck, you guys, and it is very different from other decks. It, the cards do not necessarily have the same meanings. And so um, this is like the card of like something that, that's painful to bear. And, but you, do you see the arms pulling in through the eye, pulling in out of the eyeballs, those two hands that are outstretched. And so again, when I flipped this card, they said, and yeah, they're saying the six of cups is about knowing how to use it full strength when you need it. It, it, it's about knowing when to pull it out from the depths of you. There's a little space in your mind that, that has a place for I, there's, I'm, I can't, I, I'm trying to describe what they're telling me. There's a place in your mind where you hold a story and that story is full of the macabre paranoid. I keep getting the words paranoid delusions. Like you either know of someone who you want to write about. I feel like it's a true to life thing. There's a space in your mind and it's like a magnetic pull. You feel the urge to get it out in the open. And maybe the best way to do this is to put it put pen to paper, it may have been something you lived through or something that you carry with you, Scorpio. And I feel like either that or it's just your ability to delve super deep into the darkness where maybe not many other people could go. One more card for Scorpio. Oh, you got two. Oh, <laughs> spoiled. Okay. So you got the nine of pentacles. So this is um, revelation in this deck. Something comes out or people are made aware of something. Yeah, this is someone who, whoa. You may be writing about the pain of being single, Scorpio, or the pain of being made aware of something in public. Um, yeah. So I do believe some of you are going to be transferring this pain to paper. 
it's a true to life situation in which you were made aware of something in the public eye. Again, some of you also, I think are news reporters. I'm just going to throw that out there, but, um, it's about, And also, too, again, some of you might be the Nine of Pentacles in the traditional tarot card deck is about being very much appreciated for this contribution um, that you're going to make as far as writing goes. I feel strongly that you guys are trying to make a name for yourself. Ooh. Um... So you also got the four of cups. So this is a tense and uneasy relationship. Some of you spend a lot of time with a person and it's um, never been easy. But if you, um, they're saying to me, if you don a cap and just pretend everything is okay, but putting the, I feel the, I feel like you're putting an experience on paper, an experience with another person. You've got, see how these, um, these, if you look at these two cards, this person is, is almost like drawing this other person in. And I feel like that's what your writing is going to do. It's going to attract the public eye. First of all, because there's none in this picture. Goodness gracious. All right. <laughs> you guys, you let me know what you think of this reading. Um, I'm going to extend it. Obviously, I'm going to take three cards off the bottom of the deck, and I'm going to address those in the extended read. We'll also take one card for um, finance and job, love, and advice from, from spirit for the month of April. Please join me there. Thanks a lot. Bye.